Now you all know I wasn't gonna miss the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale for summer 2024. Now, did you really think that? Mm -mm. Yes, I have a haul. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, we're doing a Bath and Body Works video because yes, I am always still gonna be tapped in to see what's going on. Do I get to haul or shop as much as often? No, I don't. I did do a haul, was that in, I did do a haul, was that April or May? So I did one recently, but then I was like, okay, I'm waiting on the summer things to come in and I knew semi-annual sale was coming up. It always happens around Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. So I was like, okay, I just wait till Memorial Day moving forward. Cause I knew I wanted certain summer scent. But as always, before I get into the haul, lipstick of the day today everyone this is mac and this is up the amp an oldie but goodie type of purple it's a creamy purple let me know what you think in the comments below and as always details on the face and everything will be down in the description box so you don't have to ask questions about it <laughs> next up we have fragrance of the day and i'm very blue today blue nails blue shirt everything and a blue fragrance and this is from killian and this is killian's moonlight in heaven a staple for summer so happy to have it in my collection and to wear it this year it's a mango scent i'm here for it. it's a mango fresh to be exact so definitely enjoying Killian's Moonlight in Heaven that's my fragrance of the day y'all and now let's get into what you came for which is the bag Bath and Body Works so the sale kicked off on June 1st and one thing about the first days particularly the first weekend of the sale how it normally works they have the candles at a special price they'll be $10.95 which they were again this year I had plans to go the first day y'all but it was like black outside when I woke up and it was a thunderstorm and everything I was like my store is like 20 minutes away and we were not gonna do that. So I didn't go, I was like, crap, I'm gonna miss out. I had a 20% off coupon and everything, y'all. It just was not meant to be. But alas, then this upcoming weekend happened, this previous weekend happened and I said, okay, let me see. I'm like, maybe it's not gonna be the best price. I'm thinking the candles were already gonna be at the half off. That's what they normally do. They start off at the 10.95 and then they go down to half off. They brought back the 10.95, they kept it going. I was like, they normally don't do that. I said, so maybe y'all, I'm thinking the first weekend did not do as well as they thought like sales wise so that's why they didn't do it so they kept the sale going so people will hopefully try to shop more and I think they marked down some more things that's been my predictions else let me know what you think about that has it been your experience too but as always y'all know I care about candles and soaps and wallflowers that's the type of person I am y'all know I don't do body care that's not my thing there's always plenty of conversations about body care going on other channels y'all got it but it's all about the candles for me the home fragrance that's what it is the home fragrance so that was what I saw went in for $10.95 and the main candle I wanted y'all was already sold out online. It's been gone. And that was Summer Boardwalk, which as we know, that is a classic for the summertime. So anywho, I, that was my mission to go in store and hopefully try to see, could I find it in store? Because just because it's sold out online doesn't mean a store doesn't have it. And that's the thing with SAS. You have to check both. You have to check both. This is a distance run. It's not a sprint. That is how SAS works. So those were my observations so far. And let me get into what I actually picked up. Candles, they had exactly five of these left in my store. And I'm so glad I picked one up because it's not the 4th of July without this to me. Firecracker pop. I have to get a, a firecracker pop every year because I do enjoy cherry scents and this is a cherry candle. So firecracker pop y'all, we have notes of red cherry, fresh citrus and juicy berry. Smells like that iconic juicy cherry. It smells like the cherry juice or the cherry flavoring that's in a snow cone from growing up back in the day. And that's why I like this, even though I hate snow cones, but I like cherry flavored candies and things from the nineties. Think like cherry ring pops, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. That's what this reminds me of. So for me, I always have to have a firecracker pop in my arsenal for the month of July, especially. Mm -hmm. And that again is Bath and Body Works firecracker pop. The next candle I picked up, another tried and true, and this is Berry Waffle Cone. I got it in the course, the new packaging they have for a candle day. Berry Waffle Cone is a staple, you all. We have notes of sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. This is always loud. This is always a beast mode candle. Y'all know this. <laughs> In my candle rating days, this would be a 10. It always gets a 10 for me. This is one you have to blow out. And I can already tell on cold, plus like the wax too, it's a pretty yellow color. I can already tell this year's version is going to keep that tradition going that this is gonna be a 10. I'm so excited about it. And they still have plenty of it available in my store too. So even if I wanna pick up another one, I'm pretty sure I can because it was a lot of berry waffle cone left. So again, berry waffle cone, another summer classic. And then the next two candles are the same. Y'all, I cannot tell you how excited I am. I got the literal last two of Summer Boardwalk at my store. And I had to dig for it too, because how they had it situated, it was around the like under the sun and the raspberry rose candles. They're all in that same collection. And these were like tucked under the, in the display. I was like, wait a minute. 
that that design looks different and i said oh it's summer boardwalk because i missed summer boardwalk last year it's like they're not making enough of it where it sells out early in the summer it's like y'all it's early june and why is this already gone what's going on with that summer boardwalk to me is a staple for summer and i'm stand on that let me know how you feel do you love summer boardwalk too but let me get into the notes y'all so we have notes of caramel glazed popcorn warm taffy apples and salty sweet cream oh yes it's, it's the caramel popcorn for me this is a summer scent but this is one i enjoy because it's also an excellent summer to fall scent because it kind of smells like the fair a little bit because of the salty caramel popcorn thing because back home the fair was always in september so to me i think about carnival food and it's still hot outside so that's why summer boardwalk i enjoy it for summer but i also enjoy it for early fall as well so that's why i was like i'm getting both of these and then the other good thing too because even though these were on a different table from the other 1095 or the special candles that came out for candle day i was like wait a minute are they not on sale I was like, let me ask the sales associate. She said, oh no, they're $10.95. So mm -hmm. yeah, I had to get it, I had to get it. You can't get it online. So I couldn't wait for a flash sale, which I saw they did on Sunday night where they had like a flash sale, 25% off. I saw they had like free shipping for anything over $50 you spent. But again, if the candle you want is sold out online, that doesn't matter to you. <laughs> so this is why I'm glad y'all found summer boardwalk so this made the trip worthwhile just alone so super happy about this and then i also picked up some other home fragrance items because i mean it's semi-annual sale so you kind of have to look around and the tables and beans and things were plush there was a lot to choose from so even with it being a week later i did not feel like i missed out because everything was still fully decked out i was here for it so I picked up one soap and to me, this is a summer staple. It's a classic and I picked up cucumber melon and this is the cleansing gel formula. It's just something about cucumber melon. I mean, it's bath and body work. So we have notes of crisp cucumber, watery honeydew and juicy cantaloupe. Just for old time's sake, I have to open this up and smell it on camera y'all. Mm, that's just childhood. <laughs> It's so perfectly summer. This is the ultimate melon scent to me for is a hand soap. I just enjoy cucumber melon. So I had to pick up a soap y'all. And then next up y'all, I picked up three wallflowers. Interesting enough, I did not see this as a candle this year. I'm kind of sad about that, but I did see it in wallflower version. So we had to make it work. And this is Endless Weekend. This is another one of my summer staple scents. Endless Weekend is summer. It's fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water. It just smells juicy and fresh and refreshing. It's like a fruity day at a beach. That's what I think about Endless Weekend. So this is one I enjoy. I said, well, my bathroom's gonna smell like an Endless Weekend since they didn't do the candle. So maybe hopefully I get lucky and find one later on in SAS, but I love Endless Weekend. So I got the wallflower. The next one I picked up, again, an icon. And I saw they had it and they had a lot of it too which i'm like yes and this is cucumber melon i had to pick up cucumber melon same notes as the soap essentially in the smell because i love to smell the tester wallflower and i'm like of course i want my bathroom to smell like this so what i'm end up doing is once i put the wallflower in my bathroom i'm also going to use the matching soap so we can just have a whole cucumber melon situation going it just everything will smell like melons in there and that's what i'm excited about <laughs> and that again is the cucumber melon wallflower and last up y'all this is like my all time favorite OG Bath and Body Works scent. And when I saw they had a wallflower for it, I had to get it. I immediately felt 10 years old again when I saw this, so I had to get it. And this is Plumeria. I used to have the whole entire body care line for Plumeria back in the day. So to see it, I was like, I'm gonna go and get it. <laughs> and this is Pink Plumeria, Peach Nectar, Red Apples, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Gardenia Petals. I was able to smell the tester they had out too, and it still smells the same. It took me back to childhood, and I was like, oh, Plumeria, I want you in my life. So I'm happy they had this. Now, if they did Plumeria in a candle, I don't even care they did it a single week candle, I would get it because I miss that scent. It is still so good to me all these years later. And that's what I like about SAS is that you get to see some oldies, but you also get to see some of the current favorites that maybe you've had your eye on, but you were waiting on the price to drop. That's when you can pick it up. So it's like something for everyone that's in my annual sale. So all in all, that is what I picked up. That is my bag. I did have a 10 off 40 coupon that I used. So I was able to spend right at 50 for everything I just showed and that was my budget for my first haul because again SAS has just started they're still doing different deals and marketing different things down they do this like week by week day by day so that's why you don't over buy at the beginning of the sale you kind of 
give, take your time. You kind of want to go at the beginning and definitely at the end if you can, because at that point, certain things have been marked down to 75% off. That's always been my experience. So sometimes you just play the waiting game on certain things. And while I'm at it, I also smelled some of the mashups or the blends. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, my absolute favorite of those, let me pull it up. My absolute favorite you all is the In The Stars and Honey Crisp Apple Candle. It took everything in me not to buy that candle, but I was like, I gotta put one of my summer war walks back or I'm gonna get the mashup candle. Cause I only want to do four. I don't want to get too many candles this time. I said, but mm. the reason though, I, the reason I didn't pick it up at this moment was because there was a ton of the blends candles. There was a ton of those. I said, I can come back. That'd be bad. However, going back to what was going on with summer war walk, they literally only had two and it sold out online. So I was like, I can't chance that. I can't. So that's why I ended up leaving it, but I did like the In The Stars and Honey Crisp Apple Candle. Let's see, other SAS candles, we had a lot of stress relief in my store, which that's a staple. So I was like, ah, I can come back for that. Why do I eliminate y'all? Every year they bring the candle out for summer and I just can't get with it. I don't know. It's just, it's like, I feel like it's always missing something. <laughs> I don't know. But the packaging for it is cute because like it looks like an actual watermelon. Let's see, anything else I want to talk about? Mahogany Rose came back. They've done that candle before. It does smell good, but I think I prefer it more the one winter time so that's why that's the candle I was willing to wait on and then I saw there was the Velvet Woods candle you could tell that candle is kind of like a take on the in the stars DNA or you really want to take it all the way a little bit of take on the Baccarat Rouge perfume DNA however it smells super light on cold and I was like I'm not buying that I'm just not gonna do that I'm not gonna set myself up for the disappointment but I did get my nose on it so I was able to smell a lot of the new candles that came out I was able to form my opinions take my time it wasn't too crazy in my store but I did get most important only what I really wanted. And then, like I say, I'll check other stores and whatnot. So, you know, one, that's one thing for sure. When you check one store, it might not have nothing. You go to another store, they fully decked out and plushed out. So that's what I'm excited about, especially as we get closer to the other sum summer holidays. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna see what also gets marked down. I'm excited. Are you already online? I'm seeing a lot of markdowns too. But let me know what you think for my fellow home fragrance lovers. Have you been enjoying SAS so far? What do you think? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I know the body care community, I've been seeing mixed reviews in their world. I don't know, body care lovers chime in. Has it been good for y'all? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I always like to hear from you all because I recognize we all love fragrance in some form or fashion. I mean, that's why you're here on this channel. It makes sense. But let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm happy with my finds and I'll definitely be back. So there will be another SAS say is all oh, I'm pretty sure of it because I still saw some other things that I'm like hmm I may come back for that they do like a 75% off <laughs> so let me know what you think and I will catch you on the next video bye y'all